Hello and welcome everyone. I'm John RMS, aka Ace Bullion, and yes, I am back, back with another coin review. Now, for those of you who have missed me from the previous Monday's video, I'm sorry about that. Uh, sadly, I did take uh, ill last week. You probably kind of gathered that on Wednesday and Thursday's video. Uh, sorry, Wednesday and Friday's video. I'm still not 100%, but I'm definitely on the, the way back to uh, recovery. Anyway, so I have another coin review today. I'm looking forward to sharing this with you guys. I'm sure it's going to be out of this world. So stay with me. We're going to have a really you know good look and in-depth uh, review of this coin. And yeah, let me know what you guys think. See you in a sec. Okay, so here it is. Yep, you probably gathered from the title, it is, well, it's the Millennium Falcon, and we're going to be reviewing this coin. But first, I'd like to say a big thank you to the Silver Trader for sending me this coin to be reviewed. Please be sure to check out the description down below where you're going to find a link to his channel and also to my website, acebullion.co.uk or acebullion.com. Yes, that's right. Um, so I have international status now. Hoorah. Um, but... Let's have a good look. What do I think? Ooh. So, here is the face side of things now. Sorry, it's a little bit of dust there. We have Queen Elizabeth II, noon, $2, 2021. Yep, so the Queen is wearing her crown and her earrings. There you go, IRB, 2021. Um, just got right there on my nail, I'm so sorry. Um, and yeah, it is, well, kind of basic and standard for the queen side of things. Um, but that's nothing to be discouraged about. No, not at all. We have a lovely reeded edge. This is one ounce of silver. It is limited mintage. Ooh, but wait to a hundred thousand. Okay. So <laughs> here we go we have the Millennium Falcon. Now, the first thing I want to show you before we go into it is down below, we have the four stars with the New Zealand Mint logo on it right there, as you can see. And along the edge here of the coin, we have this just kind of, it kind of disappears into the bits, uh, but we do have one ounce Three nines, fine silver, copyright, and trademark, Lucas Films Limited. So this has been officially licensed, you know, for all of you Star Wars fans out there. Um, and hopefully, yeah, pretty sure you guys are going to like this one anyway. So this is the Millennium Falcon. And, well, in the background, I recognize this from my Monopoly board. It's... I, I'm not going to say if it's Imperial or whatever, but it's one of those symbols. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm not a Star Wars uh, guru by any aspect. But we do know what the shape is. It's the Millennium Falcon, and it is highly, highly detailed. Let's have a look here. Let me just turn it, rotate it sideways a little bit. We can see the turrets on the top. We can see the satellite here off the side. At least I really hope that that's a satellite. Um, and I'm not making some grave mistake. Um, and then we have the Millennium Falcon right there. And I believe that's one of its jets or whatever it may be. Um, this is going from my little experience of watching the film once. Yeah, that's right. Only once. Uh, but, you know, hey, I enjoyed it. And I, I don't tend to watch movies more than once anyway. Um, but, yeah, there we go. There is a fantastic Millennium Falcon. And, you know, it is really, really nicely seated, you know, on the coin. Do I think they could have done stuff a little bit different? Absolutely. They could have made the background or just something a bit more, I don't know, used textures or matte finish. Something to bring out, you know, the Falcon uh, the Millennium Falcon here on itself. Now they have used a few high polished areas, but then the rest of it is, well, just kind of a basic silver tone. Um, there's not a lot to it. Um, 
and yeah, it's it is really really weird, but it's kind of cool because looking under on the camera here, you can actually see, and it's almost like it's a three D effect. It's not really, um, so don't don't get your hopes up. Uh, cameras do play tricks, uh, but yeah, as you're kind of moving it around, it does play around and looks looks really good. I think that the artwork itself is really spectacular, um, but the actual finished execution of this overall coin is a bit, yeah, I wish they just put a tiny bit more effort in. Um, that being said, it hasn't stopped people buying all the previous ones, even the Sabak coin, um, which, oh God, I remember doing that for the first time and it was a hit or miss as far as I was concerned. Um, I did say it was probably going to be extremely popular and it did prove, and it still is proving to be a rather popular coin for those who are into the card game side of things. Um, now I do know a lot of my friends who are into this Star Wars, um, you know, uh, themed cosplay, whatever you want to do or say, um, they were mainly interested in the coin itself, uh, that Sabak one. They haven't collected any further editions. Uh, but I do also know other collectors who are very highly, you know, um, into Star Wars. And of course, they're going to be, no doubt, having a few of these in their stocks. So, hmm, it is something, of course, you know, it, it plays on your feelings and then you also have it as a collector value. So if this is the kind of thing for you, then you're definitely in luck because, well, it's gorgeous. So I'd like to know what your thoughts, what your opinions are. Please post them down below in the description, please. Right down here, where I am. I've lost track now of my finger. Uh, <laughs> and let me know, are you one of these? Are you collecting these? Have you collected the previous versions? Um, are you actually buying the gold versions? Because if you take a look at New Zealand Mint and you look at them, oh my God. I mean, I was looking at a couple of the one ounce coins and they're like 2,000, um, now they're New Zealand dollars, but oh my goodness, it is insane. And there is so much out there. Uh, it really is out of this world, dare I say. Yeah, uh, <laughs> pun was intended there. Um, but yeah, let me know what your thoughts are. Tell me, by the way, what, what was that symbol there? I, 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 I want to say it's Imperial, but it's probably, yeah, I probably got that completely and utterly wrong. Um, and yeah, share with me what your thoughts and opinions are on this coin. Um, so I can actually see, I'm just really curious. I know that the first batch has sold or had sold out on the Silver Trader, but the Silver Trader has more. So there you go. So if you're lucky, if you're one of those, um, you know, be sure to sign up an account for him and go from there. Um, there you go. Anyway, thank you for bearing with me. I'm sorry, as I said again, for Monday and stuff, but <laughs> quite frankly, <laughs> I really, really was in no fit state at all. Um, only the, you know, the closest of friends and family know what exactly happened. So I'll leave it at that. Um, but yeah, be safe wherever you are. And I guess may the force be with you. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, you guys have a fantastic day. Thank you for watching. And please be sure to leave a like and definitely leave a comment down below. Have a great day. Bye for now.